So, I have a lot of masteries. I think I have like 12 now, and I've gotten them all really, really quick. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I got those masteries really quick and how you can too. And let me just say, you're still gonna have to grind a lot, you're still gonna have to play a lot and win a lot of games. Getting masteries is a long, long journey. You can't just expect to play Brawl Stars for five minutes a day sitting on the toilet. It's not gonna happen. You still have to put in the work. So with that being said, let's get into it. Tip number one, choosing the right brawler. Pick a brawler that is good in the current meta, or at least decent. It's even better if you pick a brawler that you can carry with majority of the games because you have more control and you'll probably get star player and get those extra mastery points. This goes without being said, but make sure your brawler is maxed out or at least close to being maxed out. It's really hard when you're not maxed out and people you're playing against are all maxed out. I know, pay to win, it sucks, but it's just how it is. So make sure you use those club coins to buy power points and coins. I know that club coins got nerfed recently or something, it sucks. Some easy masteries right now, in my opinion, is probably like Spike, Crow, Penny, Squeak is a really good one, Shelly, Cordelius. There's a lot of really good ones out there, so make sure you pick the right one. You also want to make sure you pick a brawler that you're okay with playing over and over and over again because it does get boring sometimes, especially if you do not enjoy the brawler. Playing it over and over again can get really, really boring. Tip number two is play 3v3s and play with a team. I know hearing the word team, it sucks for a lot of people because it's so hard to find a team, but I'll show you guys some ways how you can do that. The way Brawl Stars is set up right now is that if you're playing 3v3s and you're playing with randoms, it's likely that you're gonna be facing a team, especially in high trophies, and you're just gonna get run over. It's almost impossible to play 3v3s with randoms at high trophies it just it's just so unfair the other team is probably going to have a much better comp than you and they probably already have that team synergy whereas you you're kind of going in with randoms not knowing who your team's going to be and your teammates probably have like two brain cells you guys know what i'm talking about it's really unfair and I can see why a lot of people prefer to play solos instead, but if you want to grind those fast masteries, you have to play 3v3s. So I'm going to let you guys know how all the pros and content creators found their teams when they first started out, how I found all of my friends that I play with, and how to find good consistent teammates to play with. I know, making friends is so hard. So here are all the ways to find a good team. First, don't use this thing. The looking for a team feature really needs some updates, it mutes the text chat, and you really need to be able to talk to your team. Does anyone even really use this thing? I feel like I use it once or twice, like two years ago for a video, but that's that's really it. Alright, second, you want to join the Brawl Stars community outside of the app. I know, scary. Because the app only has so many features, like I said, it doesn't even have voice chat. Not that you need to voice chat. I mean, imagine Brawl Stars with in-game voice chat, it would be so toxic. Some easy ways to join the community is by joining Brawl Stars Discord servers. I have one too if you want to join that. I'll link it in the description. You can join Brawl Stars Reddit, YouTube live streams. The best place for a lot of people has been Twitch chats. Twitch is basically like YouTube but just live streams. It's a much smaller community and you can talk to a lot of pros, good players, content creators directly and as you show up for them in their streams regularly, the more they'll get to know you. It's not even just you, it's their whole community that you'll have access to. And all these people probably love Brawl Stars just as much as you do, so it'll be really, really easy to make friends. I'll give you guys a chance right now to put your player tag and number of trophies and what you're looking for in a teammate in the comments, and you guys can look through them or reply to anybody who you think you could be friends with and play with in the future. If you don't wanna do any of that, you can always try the play again feature and hope you go on a long win streak with someone by pressing play again over and over again and then just inviting them to play the next time you're on yeah i mean good luck with that i mean sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't you'll have to see if you're playing with people you haven't played with before a really good indicator of whether you'll be good playing with them and if they're good at 3v3s is to look at their profile and look at their 3v3 wins if they have a lot of 3v3 wins it's more likely that they'll know what they're doing in the 3v3 modes and if they have more solo wins and less 3v3 wins, they're probably just a solo player and won't be that great in 3v3s. I mean, that's just like a guideline, doesn't always mean that they're either good or bad. But that's kind of what I like to do is just look on their profile and check to see how many 3v3 wins they have. 
Another thing you can do is join the Brawl Stars Reddit Discord server because once you join, there's options to give yourself a role called looking for a team. And there's a lot of people in that Discord server that constantly look for teams and people to play with. So that might be a good idea too. I recently joined it and it actually looks really good for finding teammates. That's kind of what I did when I first started as well. Okay, tip number three. Now that we have the Brawler you wanna play and a team, Tip number three is to play modes that you can win fast in. My favorite game modes to push mastery in our Brawl Ball and Heist because you can end the game so freaking quick in both modes. In Heist, you can just base race and literally end the game in less than 30 seconds. Same with Brawl Ball if you could just kind of run it down on them. It kind of depends, but there is potential to win those games really fast. If none of those work for your brawler, it might be better to just push in other modes you're good at, like gem grab or bounty. It's worth it if you're consistently getting wins instead of losing every now and then in other modes. So like you guys saw in my Jesse mastery video, I just waited for that one map to be out called Split Second and I just kept pushing in that map because I was getting such fast wins. I mean, I was also playing in other modes, but the highest map was just like literally the key to my mastery for Jesse. Okay, now here are some extra tips. If you know you're good at a certain trophy range, try to stay in that trophy range. This kind of happens naturally if say you're good at like the 600 to 700 trophy range and win a lot of games, but as soon as you hit like 800 to 900, you tend to lose your trophies. Games at lower trophy levels are also a lot faster, so it might be smarter to just stay in that range. If you have to tilt, it might be a good idea. I've seen a lot of people tilt on purpose just for that reason. However, I don't really do that myself. I don't really mind the high matchmaking or anything. It doesn't bother me too much. And sometimes, I mean a lot of the time, I just tilt naturally anyways. And lastly, if you get frustrated at any point, just take a break. I know masteries can be so frustrating, but it's okay. Literally just take a break, you know, go outside, have some ice cream, go for a walk. You know, there's so many other things you can be doing and don't blame your teammates either because they're probably just trying to have fun too. The mastery grind can be really long, but it's not going anywhere and it doesn't reset like trophies do. You can literally only go up in mastery. So it's okay if you just take a little break. I've been trying to get like one mastery per week for these videos and sometimes I want, I'm not even playing Brawl Stars for days straight because I just need a break from the game. So don't worry about that too much. Literally just have fun. Literally, you are just grinding like a title in a video game. It's not that serious. But yeah, make sure to have fun and play with friends. Make some friends. I'll be your friend if you need a friend. Make sure you guys watch the rest of my mastery videos to see how I got those masteries. I think I have like seven mastery videos out right now. And I also give some tips on each of the brawlers. So make sure you watch those as well. Don't miss those. I'll see you guys in the next video.